Hey, what's happening guys? What's going on YouTube? You've tuned into Rules for Rebels and we got a fun video for you guys today. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. July 24th is National Tequila Day and so I figured uh, we'd uh, kind of do a special little video. I'd kind of share some of my favorite tequilas with you guys. Um, and you know, whenever these national days come up, I always feel like I find out about it at the end of the day and I'm like, oh shoot, I should have went and got my free donut or my free hot dog or whatever day it is. So uh, National Tequila Day is actually July 24th, which is about a week away, but I wanted to get this video out in advance and give you guys some heads up. So in case you did want to enjoy a tequila or a cocktail uh, for National Tequila Day, I give you plenty of time to order something online or swing by a store. Um, I got something for kind of every budget here. We got, you know, like the Espolone, which uh, I'm actually a big fan of. This is kind of more of a, it's a great tequila, but it's a budget tequila. You can sometimes find this as cheap as like 15 bucks by the case. Uh, otherwise it's like 20 to $30. And then we got some bottles that are maybe in like the 40 to $70 range. And then we got a couple bottles here that run a couple hundred dollars. Um, so before we get into this, I just kind of like, uh, I just like to say like, if you guys are tequila fans, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know like how you like to enjoy your tequila, what some of your favorite tequilas are. Maybe you can turn me on to a new one that I haven't tried. Um, and yes, yeah, so I guess we'll kind of kick this off. So uh, I've always been kind of, I'm not a huge drinker, but like if I am gonna drink, like tequila is probably my drink of choice. Um, and I've always been kind of a, a big fan of tequila. When I, the first time that I kind of like really fell in love in tequila, with tequila, I was down in uh, Mexico. Me and my girlfriend had rented a, uh, a Volkswagen Bug convertible, this like really shitty old, like one from the 50s or 60s, like the shifter didn't work. As I was pulling out of the lot, I was like, I don't drive stick either. So as I'm pulling out of the lot, I crashed into two cars and uh, it was just like a really kind of janky car, but it was fun. You know, it was a convertible, got, got to drive around. We were kind of driving down the coast, stopping at beaches, stopping at little bars. And we went to this bar called Coconuts way up on the top of this hill. It kind of like looks out onto, uh, onto the Caribbean. And uh, we went out, is it the Caribbean? Yeah, the Caribbean. Uh, we, we, we go up to this bar, we got some tequila shots, and I'd never had sangrita before. And sangrita is kind of like something that you either sip with or chase a tequila shot with. Uh, delicious stuff. But you know, whenever I drink tequila, or especially whenever I have sangrita, uh, it always kind of takes me back to, uh, to, to kind of that afternoon and kind of those memories and things like that. So that's kind of when I really kind of fell in love with tequilas. As far as kind of my favorite ways to enjoy tequilas, uh, a shot with a lime is always good. Uh, sipping tequila is always good. Like I said, sangrita, it's a mix of like orange juice, lime juice, and uh, grapefruit or like blood orange. Uh, hot sauce, some salt and pepper, and a jalapeno. And it, it's almost kind of like a Bloody Mary. Just really goes well and really complements tequilas. That's probably my absolute favorite way to enjoy tequila. Uh, otherwise, a tequila tonic is always good, or a Paloma, which is like grapefruit juice. And uh, grapefruit juice, soda and tequila. Uh, and we got a couple different kinds of tequila. We got Blanco, which is these clear tequilas. And actually this one, I believe it is, we're gonna go through these in a second, but this one is actually, it's clear, but it's actually an Anejo. It's actually an aged uh, clear tequila. Uh, we got Blancos, which are clear tequila. We got Hovens, which are like blends of a clear tequila and like an Anejo. Those are kind of more rare. You don't see them that often. Uh, reposados, which are aged for, I believe, like one to three months. Um, it just kind of rounds off the taste and the flavor profile. Then we got Anejo, which is aged like one to three years. And I think we got at least one of those in here. And then we have uh, Extra Anejo, which is actually aged longer than three years. Um, and I used to like Anejos. I, I think over the years, I've kind of grown fond of Blancos. Um, <laughs> so let me know what your favorite type of tequila is. Drop a comment down below. Um, so I, I figured we kind of go through my tequilas here and just kind of a funny thing, uh, pretty much everything here is things that people have brought over to the house and just left it. It's kind of like a running joke amongst, uh, my friends and family. You know, a lot of people don't like, like you hate when you go over to somebody's house with like a brand new bottle of liquor and you like leave it there and then they drink it all and you never get to enjoy any of it. And there's kind of a running joke that like, if you bring booze over to my house, like you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. If you come back six months later, it will still be here waiting for you. We really don't drink these that much. And these uh, these are, for the most part, kind of nicer tequilas. Um, so, you know, it's not something that you drink throughout the whole night. Like, we might start the evening off with this. My, my girlfriend always gets mad at me because whenever, uh, my girlfriend's Mexican, so her family uh, has given me a lot of these tequilas. 
And whenever they bring one over, I'll always pop it open and start pouring shots for everybody I want to try it. And she's always like, oh, save it for a special occasion. And I always tell you, know, it's, it's Friday, we got family, we got friends over, someone just brought me a bottle, like this is a special occasion. Uh, but these things normally last a pretty long time for us. Um, so I guess we'll kind of start off with Espelon. This one has been one of my favorite tequilas for uh, a number of years. And this is, I don't want to say call it a budget tequila because that makes it sound like a Jose Cuervo or something like that. And by the way, if your idea of good tequila is uh, Patron or even worse, Jose Cuervo, uh, I'm about to open your eyes to a whole new world. Um, but uh, Espelon, I, I think I first discovered this stuff. This has been around for a couple years. I first discovered it at Whole Foods a couple years ago. My girlfriend's brother turned me on to it. Um, and we always go out to the beaches in Southwest Michigan. You know, most weekends during the summer, if we don't have anything going on, we're out in Southwest Michigan at the beach. And he started bringing the, he somehow discovered this tequila, started bringing it out there. And what we always mix it with at the beach, really kind of crisp, refreshing summer drink. Uh, we get the Whole Foods, uh, like fresh squeezed pink lemonade. I think it's basil pink lemonade. Uh, so it's, pink lemonade with basil in it. We buy some jalapenos, uh, slice up the jalapenos, put them in the lemonade to give it a little bit of heat. And, you know, kind of an ice cold drink with basil, jalapeno, lemonade, and Espelone. Uh, this is an awesome tequila. Uh, you can probably find it for anywhere from like 18 to $30 a bottle at your local liquor store, even local grocery store. Uh, Whole Foods sells this. I believe Trader Joe's sells it as well. Um, and a couple of the stores near me actually sell this by the case. And if you buy a case of six of them, you can sometimes get them on a good sale uh, for as low as $15 a piece. Uh, my girlfriend's brother will buy several cases when they go on sale. Uh, he always keeps one like on their back porch and like a couple in the trunk of his car. And anytime we go anywhere, we grab a bottle of this. Uh, really good stuff. Now I will say like after trying my absolute favorite tequila, which we'll get into in a second here, Casa Dragones, uh, I drank a shot of this after the Casa de Dragones one day, and I was like, man, this shit tastes like gasoline. Um, so this isn't going to stack up to some of these like really high-end tequilas, uh, but I do love this stuff. It is really good. Uh, we do shots of it, and we do kind of the basil lemonades in the summer. Uh, big fan of this. If you're kind of more budget conscious, uh, doesn't get much better than this. And this is 100% agave. They also make a reposado as well. Um, and Espelon, uh, just referring to my notes here, been around for a couple years, won a bunch of awards, won a bunch of awards at that, uh, actually they might say it on the bottle here, at whatever that San Francisco tequila tasting uh, deal is. Uh, they won a number of awards there. Um, but good, good stuff. Uh, like I said, that stuff goes for um, maybe 15, 18 to 30 bucks. Uh, kind of sweet, piney, and kind of tropical flavors a little bit of a peppery finish. Now I'll tell you something, to me, I, I don't get super with like, whether it's beer, wine, I don't get super into like, oh, there's hints of plum and rosemary and thyme. like, to me it either tastes good or it doesn't taste good. So I tried to kind of come up with a flavor profile if you guys are kind of into that stuff. And I did look on some review sites to see kind of how other people describe it. To me personally, it's kind of like, it's good or it's bad. I don't get like super into the flavor pro. It's good and it's smooth. That's really all I care about. Uh, my absolute favorite tequila is Casa Dragones. Um, this is actually Oprah's favorite tequila. And what's really kind of unique about this, this is small batch tequila. I love the bottle, I love the design, I love everything about it. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, every bottle is hand numbered and hand signed. Uh, they got the Botella number, so the bottle number, this is 3,553. Uh, the lot number, so this is lot 33. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And then Fecha is the date, that's 8-24-17. And I've noticed of the couple bottles of this I've had, uh, they've all been signed by the same guy. Uh, one really cool thing about this tequila, they have, like if you ever need to get a, a gift for somebody for a wedding or a, a business client or something like that, uh, they also do these special edition tequilas. And they hand engrave the bottles. I believe there's actually videos on YouTube of the guy sitting there literally with like a little etcher machine or a wheel uh, hand shaving these bottles. And this is uh, the first one I ever got. This is uh, bottle number 5,447, lot number 33, uh, made 824 of 17, uh, signed by the same guy. And it says, uh, for a great friend, thanks for being a part of my big day. 
uh, and my girlfriend's brother gave this to me when he asked me to be in his wedding. Um, and we're, we've all kind of fallen in love with this tequila. Like, this is by far my favorite tequila. Really nice presentation. I think they have a couple levels of this tequila. Like, this one probably goes for anywhere from like 70 to 150, depending on where you get it. Um, they do have a couple bottles that run into several hundred dollars. Uh, we are an independent small batch producer with a passion for crafting exceptional tequila one bottle at a time. Our entire approach takes time and expertise, making it possible to produce only a small amount of Casa Dragones each year. Each bottle is hand signed and numbered, hallmarking our commitment to quality. At Casa Dragones, it's our love and the craft and meticulous attention to detail that ensures an extraordinary experience and the highest possible quality. And this one is also, of course, 100% uh, blue agave. Um, you guys have probably heard this. A lot of people say tequila doesn't give you hangovers. Uh, I think that's true within reason. If you're drinking beer all night and drinking tequila, you're gonna get a hangover. If you're using a lot of mixers, you're gonna get a hangover. But if you drink kind of reasonably uh, throughout the night and don't use mixers, you will not wind up with a hangover from a good tequila. And uh, Casa Dragones uh, fruit, citrus flavors, green apple, little bit of caramel, and a peppery finish. Uh, like I said, 70 to 150 bucks, depending on where you get it. Uh, this is one you can find at Binnie's. I think Binnie's is pretty much all over the place. There's also some online stores where you can buy this. Occasionally, I've seen these for like 40 to 60 bucks, but normally every time I go to buy, it's like sold out or they don't let me buy. So I think that's just kind of a gimmick to get you into their store. Um, but this one is, is going to win my award for Rules for Rebels favorite tequila. Uh, next is Don Julio 70. Um, this one was given to me as a gift, I believe, by my girlfriend's uncle. Um, I think we've only done about one shot out of this. I think when he gave it to me, we popped it open. I think there was fight night or something. Um, and it's been a while since I drank this one. So uh, Don Julio 70, it was a special edition. It's aged in oak, oak barrels, so it does have a... Oh, you know, here's what it is. This was the one. So this is actually, even though it's a, a clear tequila, it's an Anejo. Uh, aged in oak barrels, uh, a little bit of a honey and vanilla flavor, a little bit of a smokiness to it. Very smooth, uh, great tequila. This one's been aged 18 months. And uh, if you are like a whiskey or a bourbon or a scotch fan, a lot of people who are into whiskeys and bourbons who may not even like tequila or who do like tequila will especially like this tequila because it has some of the same kind of flavor profiles that kind of like barrel aged kind of uh, caramely kind of smoky flavor that like whiskeys have. Um, so if you're a whiskey fan and you want to get into tequila, you'll probably really enjoy this one. Um, this one goes for, I forgot to get a price. I want to say this one goes for, it might be as low as 80. I want to say these ones are about 140 bucks a bottle. Uh, next we got the Don Julio 1942. I told you guys, my girlfriend's always yelling at me, trying to get me to save everything for special occasions. So this one, the seal has not even been broken on it. Uh, this is a Reposado, 100% um, agave. Okay, I don't speak Spanish well. Después de ocho meses de Manduro. Okay, so my Spanish is rusty. But um, Don Julio 1942, this one is rested in oak barrels aged for two years, and this was actually made to celebrate the 60th anniversary of their first distillery. Um, hints of vanilla, caramel, and toffee. And, you know, one thing about these nicer tequilas, do not mix them with Sprite, do not make a margarita. Anybody who's like a serious tequila drinker will smack you in the head for like wasting their tequila. Uh, these are definitely sipping tequilas. Um, and this bottle goes for 140 to 160 bucks. Um, let's see. Next we have Casa Nobel Tequila Blanco. Uh, this is a not cheap, but a cheaper bottle. This one goes for about 40 bucks. Uh, this one is a double gold medal uh, winner at that San Francisco Tequila Festival. Uh, nice bottle, nice presentation. 100% blue agave. Um, super smooth. See, I haven't had this one in a while. This one actually has a really nice uh, essence or smell or whatever to it. Super smooth, floral, almond, and buttery. And then lastly, um, and I think we've kind of killed a couple other bottles, otherwise we would have had a few more things to review here. Uh, this one right here is Classe Azul. 
Uh, this one's about 70 bucks a bottle. Uh, very smooth. I haven't had this one in a long time either. This one, if I remember correctly, this has a little bit more of a bite to it. Not as like piney or citrusy, a little bit of kind of a richer, richer taste, richer smell to it. Uh, and pretty much every one of these tequilas, we'll kind of take this one. I love this one. We're going to kind of take it out of the mix just because it's not even kind of in the same ballpark as the rest of these tequilas here. Pretty much every one of these tequilas, if you go read reviews on any site, every one of these people are saying, this is the smoothest tequila I've ever had. This is the best tequila I've ever had. And I think it really comes down to personal preference. Like I said, my absolute favorite is going to be the uh, Casa Dragones, uh, but you really can't go wrong with any of these. And if you're on a little bit more of a budget or are going to be sharing it with a lot of friends, uh, the Espelon is a great one as well. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these, uh, what you thought of them. Let me know what your favorite tequila is, your favorite way to enjoy tequila. And like I said, I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while and I try to keep it kind of business related. And I was trying to think, well, maybe I can make a video about how uh, these would make great gifts for uh, a client or a, an employee who is a tequila lover and you got to get a gift for them. But uh, with National Tequila Day coming up, I figured we'd, we'd knock out this video. And just one other thing, I always pay attention to the National Days. We'll kind of wrap, turn, this, turn this around towards the end and talk a little bit about business. Um, I always pay attention to the National Days. If you're into digital marketing, social media marketing, you have a brand, you work with brands, you run advertising for brands, National Days are an easy, lazy way to create content. Uh, these types of days are very, very kind of shareable. So if I were managing content for a bodega or a Mexican restaurant or really any kind of restaurant, like, hey, it's National Tequila Day, come in and enjoy a margarita, come in and enjoy this. So keeping your eye on these National Days is a good, easy, lazy way to create content, but it also creates good content uh, that's very shareable. So um, if I can find places online to buy these, I will drop some links below. Uh, otherwise, let me know your thoughts, drop a comment, share whatever you got to share. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, and next week, have a safe and happy National Tequila, National Tequila Day. Uh, I really haven't been drinking of this, any of this, honestly. I still got to get my workout in. Uh, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of Weird Products Daily. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.